Are you considering moving to Seattle, Washington, but you don't want to live in the metro city of Seattle? I'm going to share with you where to live south of Seattle. I am a real estate agent in the Seattle area. I am a native to the state and I have lived here my entire life. I love it here. On this channel, I'm going to talk about living in Seattle and the surrounding areas and what you need to know before moving to Seattle. If you have any questions regarding Seattle, Washington, or the surrounding areas, give me a call or text or email. People reach out to me all the time, and I would love to talk to you. So let's go over some of the best cities to live south of Seattle. Enumclaw. Enumclaw is a really cute country town. Although it has expanded a lot over the years, it still has a main one street downtown, and it's even closed on Sundays. Now it does have many other shops and stores that are still open every day of the week, but the main downtown, old downtown area is closed on Sundays. Enumclaw, Washington is located at the base of Mount Rainier. It's one of the last cities that you reach before you head up to the mountains. It is the pathway to many hiking and biking and ATV trails. The Crystal Mountain Ski Resort is about 45 minutes away and they are actually putting a lot of money into that resort to make it more resort-like. Enumclaw also has a nice golf course called the Enumclaw Golf Course and a hospital, Enumclaw Hospital. Enumclaw is one of the cleanest cities around, in my opinion. It has lots of farmland. Now, Enumclaw is going to be a little bit longer commute if you have to commute to the Seattle area. It's going to be a good hour or more to get to Seattle area and about 45 minutes to Tacoma. Enumclaw has very high rated schools for the area. Renton. Renton is my hometown, so I have a special place for it. Renton is halfway in between Seattle and Tacoma, so it is a great location. There are some big employers in Renton. Pat Carr and Boeing are to name a couple. Renton is a pretty large city with six major neighborhoods or areas. There's downtown Renton, Talbot Hill, Renton Hill, Fairwood, the Renton Highlands, and East Renton. In downtown Renton, you will find a great outdoor shopping center. Coulomb Park and Lake Washington is also in Renton. The Cedar River runs through Renton, and there's lots of great trails for walking. Renton is also home of the Seattle Seahawks training camp. There is a great golf course in Renton called Maplewood Golf Course. Renton also has a hospital, Valley Medical Center. One of the highest rated school districts in the area, which is Issaquah School District, has a few schools in Renton as well. There's a fun farmer's market every Tuesday in downtown Renton. As far as types of houses go in Renton, you're going to find just about everything you're looking for. In the downtown area, you'll see houses that start in the 1900s. There's also lots of new construction, homes with land, condos. You'll also find many rentals. Kent is located along the State Route 167 corridor. There's an Amazon distribution center in Kent, and there is the Shower Center, which is the home of the Seattle Thunderbirds hockey team. There's an outdoor shopping area in Kent called Kent Station, which has lots of yummy restaurants and some shopping small boutiques. There's also a movie theater there. Green River runs through Kent with a great trail for walking and biking. There's also a golf course called Riverbank Golf Course and Driving Range. Kent has a downtown area. There's an East Hill area and a West Hill area. There is also Covington, which I believe Covington is broken off into its own city, but it is also considered Kent. There's lots of shopping and restaurants in Covington as well. There is a wide range of housing in Kent, early 1900s to brand new. The majority are probably more the 1960s, 1970s timeline. Auburn, Washington. Auburn, Washington is south of Renton and Kent. There is a West Hill of Auburn. There is East Hill of Auburn, which is considered Lee Hill. There's Lakeland Hills. There's downtown Auburn and there's East Auburn. Again, there are homes as early as the 1900s that are located in Auburn but the majority are newer than that. 
In the West Hill, you're going to find homes from the 1960s and 70s, typically. In Lakeland Hills, you're going to find newer, year 2000 and newer. Same with Lee Hill. Lee Hill and Lakeland Hills are more suburban type neighborhoods. East Auburn is going to be more farmland. Lakeland Hills is the most walkable area in Auburn, Washington. There's a few restaurants there and a grocery store with sidewalks and a great community. It is growing really fast and it is close to Lake Taps. Lakeland Hill schools are rated fairly high for the area as well. One of the main Boeing Airplane Group plants is in Auburn. There's also a lot of distribution companies as well. Auburn has its own hospital and multi-care is very prominent in Auburn, Washington. There's a nice sized farmer's market on the weekend and there's also a Sounders train depot in Auburn. Maple Valley. Maple Valley is one of the safest cities in the Seattle area according to Crime Grade. It's also one of the smaller cities. Most of the houses were built from the year 2000 and newer. There are older communities here, but the majority of the housing is newer with sidewalks and shopping and restaurants. Maple Valley is a very walkable area. The downfall to Maple Valley is it's not the best commute location. If you have to go to Seattle or Tacoma, or just about anywhere. There's only two roads that go in and out of Maple Valley. Tacoma School District is located in Maple Valley and it is one of the highest rated school districts in the area. There's also a great farmer's market on the weekends in Maple Valley. Federal Way, Des Moines, Burien, and SeaTac are all cities that are closer to the Puget Sound. These cities are along the Interstate 5 corridor, so they have a better commute location than most of the others I've mentioned. If you want a waterfront home of the Sound, you should look in Burien, Des Moines, or Federal Way. Burien has a small town feel with quaint restaurants and shops. A lot of older homes, but it is an up and coming neighborhood. Des Moines has a large marina and the Anthony's Homeport restaurant is there. There's also a great restaurant called Wally's that has great seafood. It is a smaller town as well. They have a great farmer's market there on the weekends. Out of these four cities, Federal Way has the newest housing, and it is one of the larger cities of the four. There's movie theaters, walking trails, ballparks, and a Costco. There's also a farmer's market here on the weekend. As you can tell, farmer's markets are really big around here. You will find almost everything you need here from shopping to restaurants. There's a shopping mall there called The Commons. If you have any questions regarding the Seattle area or any of its surrounding cities, put a comment below or reach out to me. I am a local realtor in Seattle, Washington, and I would love to answer any questions you have. If you are planning on relocating to the Seattle area and you would like some more specific information or tips about the area, then please reach out to me anytime. There is so much to share with you about Seattle and the surrounding cities, I can't fit it all into one video. I can help you with specific neighborhoods, schools, restaurants, things to do. Just give me a call.